am I supposed to talk? No. No, oh, sorry. <laughs> Okay, you, uh, you're going to see the aquaponics, um, the way I've done my aquaponics, or our aquaponics, uh, set up. So, uh, what you want to do is have the three things, four things. The first thing is, um, you need to have plants, uh, the plants over there. Over there. Uh, then you'll need something to contain the plants in, i.e. this. This you can probably get, um, we got it in Mumbo's plastic, but I mean you can go to any plastic store and get it. It's about, it's pretty, pretty expensive, 120 rand or something. Uh, something in dollars, something in pounds, <laughs> whatever. Uh, you can do the translations. Anyway, um, okay, uh, then there's the third part, which is the aqua. Uh, the aquaponic balls, they're like clay balls that allow you to um, filter the water through them but let the plants grow and the roots grow. Um, and then the last part is the actual water itself. So the water and what it contains, i.e. Nutri uh, nutrients and so on. I'll explain all of that just now. Cool. Okay, so we have here the outer, outer pipe. It's going to be of 11 centimeters in diameter and it's yeah and the height you want to make it pretty much the same height as the container box you're using this part of the pipe is only used for basically making sure that the uh, clay balls aren't going into the pipe so that it gets clogged up also known as a media guard. Okay, so the next part we're going to do is going to be based on the maximum height of the water level. So you'll see here it's actually 5.2 centimeters. Um, and you'll see here this little mark here, this is from where the actual max height is normally. Um, so later on you'll see we'll have the same pipe we're gonna do a little bit of an insertion inside of it to make it the lowest um, water level so the pipe with the max height is about 4.5 in diameter on the inside and 4.7 on the outside okay right so to get its height you just use the same here so it will be 5 centimeters So the reason we made the outside white tube 5 is so that we can get a minimum distance between the top here and the top there. We're making it as small as possible so that it can create a vacuum easier so that the bell siphon can work better. Originally our first design included these two pipes only but we found that um, later on that uh, the actual siphon didn't work 100% all the time so we did a bit of researching and we found that uh, we used this um, this kind of size tube um, and what, what it basically does is you'd stick it on top of this like that and we do a little bit of a cut here so that the actual pipe has more less diameter between the inner pipe and the outer pipe. Uh, this is has something to do with uh, water surface tension, uh, so we're not 100% sure, but it did make it work a lot better. It was a severe improvement, so we're going to do it first this time. Okay, so once you've cut all these pipes and made them the correct height, you'll see that we have actually cut them and uh, sanded them off as well so that they're nice and fresh, fresh at the bottom they're nice and uh, flush at the bottom and then um, you'll see here we've added some holes so that the water can get through but the actual 
uh, clay balls can't get through. Um, you'll see it later on when we actually, I actually show you the full product when it's done. Right, then we've got the next part here. So this is a, a tube inside of a tube. Well, this is actually a cap for the, the tube that's here. Um, and you'll see we've made some incisions on the side here. Uh, this is so that the water can go through and uh, this height here will be the minimum height of the water level so this from here downwards it will always be water so we made it a little bit short so this is about five uh, millimeters half a centimeter and yeah and we just used a bit of um, a glue gun here to stick it together and uh, you'll see here we've got the black part. This is uh, where you get you get it in the irrigation section of the hardware stores. Um, they're mainly used for piping and things like that. But in this case, we're gonna just use it to stick it in here like this. Yeah, this here is that little piece we cut off, and we used uh, some glue gun to glue it onto here. It's pretty simple. It make sure it's watertight. You can have a look from the top. You can see that it's just basically a pipe all the way down to the bottom. So it goes straight through. Right? Right, so the next part is we're going to take this. We're going to be putting it over like this. And done. Right? So the inside here, it's hard to see. But you'll see that this top height is not at the top top of the inside of this. It is slightly smaller like we mentioned earlier. So that the thing is as small as And the next part is the protection against uh, clay balls right and there this is where the so in this inside here is where the clean water will go and it'll try stop as much as the dirt as it can stop okay cool um, so here are the aquaponics uh, clay balls um, you'll see that we have here two different kinds of sizes the first size here is the 10 to 20 millimeters one uh, this one is the one that's normally for the root zone um, but that's uh, the, the bottom root zone but you'll see that the, another one on this side over here it's got the 8 to 16 millimeters this is for the top root zone but that's generally normally what they use for but in this case we're going to just do a bit of a mix so that they get a different variety so um, yeah So we have the uh, current setup here. You'll see that there's quite a few uh, foresty plants growing, which is nice. Um, so you'll see here, there's a start from the bottom. The pump is in the water down there. And you'll see that it comes up here and there's a T-junction right here. And this allows us to adjust the flow going up from here into the flower bed. You'll see that in there, right over here, is where the out, outflow is. I'm gonna start up the flow. Sometimes it's uh, it's difficult to get it 100% correctly working. Now you see the water is flowing in. It's going a bit too fast. You'll see that the water level is consistently rising over here. And you'll see in the middle, we have the water there. And that's the water now. You see it's slowly rising up. See there's a dark line, and that dark line is where it is actually the maximum height that it reaches. Okay, so now it's slowly reaching the top. You'll see that when it gets to that specific line, you can actually almost start hearing the water going through the middle. And there you go. Now it's starting to flow inside. Inside the siphon all the way down, you can actually almost see 
where the water is coming out. It'll keep flowing until the level reaches the bottom, the bottom maximum height, which is what we showed you earlier with the white uh, pipe. That small little height of uh, 0 0.5 centimeters. If you have too much flow, it'll reach all the way to the bottom and never actually um, complete the cycle. Okay, so now you can see that the water is still not completely all the way to the bottom. Um, the best way to know if it's actually completed the cycle is it makes a gurgling noise, right? So I'm going to now turn off the intake. I'm going to turn it off here. And then you'll hear the gurgling sound. There you go. The gurgling sound happened. Now you know the cycle is completed. Right. So if it's too fast, the cycle will never complete and you'll just have a constant low um, height. So this time the cycle is going to be lower. So I'm going to make it a little bit slower. So not as quickly. So now that you can see that it's still in the low state. And if you had come have a look at the bottom, you'll see that the actual outage is way too slow. And you can see that the vacuum is not being created. So it means it hasn't got enough intake to create the vacuum. So it's coming out the same as it's going in, which doesn't do anything. I'm going to do then do a little bit of an increased flow. There. there you go. Now you can see that it's going again. And that that'll go all the way down to the bottom and start the cycle again. So you need to get it basically perfectly right for it to work hundred percent, but I mean ooh, plant doesn't have to, you don't have to make the system go all the time it can be uh, you can turn it on for a few hours and then turn it off again it's not a it's not a hundred percent perfect just yet but it's it's doing a really good job at the moment